Complete combustion of propanol. Combustion means reacted in air or oxygen, and complete in this case means make the most oxidized versions of carbon and hydrogen. How about I show and don't tell? That's C3H7OH, which I believe is a liquid at room temperature. Combustion is reacting with oxygen gas, yes. Then you make the fully, completely oxidized versions of carbon, which is carbon dioxide, I promise. And hydrogen gives you water. Because you're making heat in combustion, I think you should do H2O gas phase, okay? Great, this is my unbalanced complete combustion. Let's balance it together. This might be the more challenging bit. Three carbons here, I need three carbons here. Eight hydrogens on the left, I need eight hydrogens here. That's uh, four pairs because there's two hydrogens per one of those. Now, how many oxygens do I have? I've got three times two is six and an extra four is 10 oxygens on the right. I already have one oxygen in the propanol. See it right there? Which means I need to account for nine of them here. Now nine isn't divisible by two, but I can take a little shortcut and say nine divided into pairs, which is 4.5 of these pairs. This is technically balanced. Your teacher might not let you use fractions. So my Solution to that is to double everything. I'm gonna change this one propanol to two propanols. That gives me six carbons, so I need to change that three to a six. That gives me 16 hydrogens, which means I need eight of those pairs. Oh look, everything's doubling. And then I have 12 and eight is 20 oxygens, but I already have two here, so I need 18 of them here. They come in pairs, so I need nine. Oh look, I doubled that too, right? There's a shortcut for that, but I wanted to show you what I was thinking. Complete combustion is reacting it with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. If it doesn't say complete, then you might have carbon monoxide or soot being made. But complete is Dunzo Magrunzo right here. Best of luck.